Okay, folks, what I have for you here today is a special one. This is out of the Howard Miller presidential line. This is the Hayes. This clock is big. It is 87 inches tall. Um, I'll give you the rest of the measurements here in a minute. They're on the back of the tag. Um, but this is a stately clock, yet not overstated. Um, beautiful piano finish, hand rub finish on this clock with crotch mahogany at top and bottom. Um, we don't get these big ones in very often, but this is certainly a clock to be admired. If you have the room for it, it's not that tall at 87 inches. We've had taller. In fact, this antique next to it, it's taller. But it is wide. Look at the tag. It is 32 inches wide, 19 inches deep. So you need the width and the depth wherever you're going to put it. But the crotch mahogany up here is very nice. Beautiful grain there. Nice and shiny. Then you come over to these Roman type columns here. Of course your side glass on your upper panel to look into your movement or easy access to it. Bevel glass on the sides and the door has a curved glass in it. There you go. Get a good look at that curved glass in the door. So the door is not a straight piece of glass, it's a curved glass. There are people in the country that make that curved glass, so if something happened to the clock while it was in your possession and it got broken, there are places that you could get it replaced. Get the one made. But it's a pretty steady piece of glass, so I wouldn't be too worried about it. This case is all in excellent condition. Nothing that I see is really in need of being pointed out. This case does have a light in it. That shines down inside the the, uh, the clock here. You can see the light right back there. Of course, it's a little bright in here today, so you can't really appreciate it, even though I got the light behind us here turned off. Let me turn this on. It'll yeah. Now you can really see the clock, though. You know the grain and the wood had the uh, light turned off to take pictures. You'll notice in my pictures that I keep this clock next to it in the pictures I normally crop my pictures to just show the clock that I'm picturing but I wanted you to see the difference between this clock and what would be a regular sized um, grandfather clock so that'll give you the idea of how big this clock is it does weigh 200 pounds um, 210 to be exact I believe Beautiful polished brass, white shells. They're all in very nice condition. Some stuff on on this one. I don't know what that is. I think bring it up to Chris's Chris's attention. I think he can probably buff it off. But if not, you know it goes in the back of the back of the uh, weight, you don't see it anyway. I'm not guaranteeing we'll be able to get those. It almost looks like tape. I'm not guaranteeing we'll be able to get that off, but I'm pretty sure we'll be able to get it off. Come down to the pendulum. Pendulum's another, you know, polished brass. Very nicely done. And now to the dial here. It's got a like a vinyl covering on it to give it a, a ceramic look but also it protects it so it's another very nice feature that you don't get on a lot of clocks 
and that's why it's so shiny. It's got this vinyl protector on it, protection on it. Um, it's part of the dial. It's not, you know, it's not something you can move or or take off. It's part of the dial, but it's a very nice feature to keep this uh, clock looking well. This is a pretty good sized dial as well. Um, this is a triple chime. Plays St. Michael, Westminster, and, and Whittington. Also has an automatic night shut off. And again, you know, you get your, your illumination, your light back here. Um, I'll let you hear the chimes. actually St. Michael. So again, um, you're looking for something to make a statement in your home. This is the clock for you. It makes a statement. And there you have it. Again, clocksbychristopher.com. See all our clocks and all our videos. And my private line is 207-412-0189. Have a nice day.